Magandang buhay! I am your math teacher, Miss Brinda A. Aliada. Ready to assist you in this topic, how to generate patterns. Specifically, finding the first four or five terms of a sequence given in the end term or general term. But before that, let's have first again. <coughs> How many dots are there in the next figure? What will be the next letters? What is the next number? Good job everyone! Para wala nung imitidihan, let's start our lesson. When you hear the word pattern, what comes into your mind? A pattern is an arrangement regularly found in comparable objects. Patterns can be used in real life. For example, a road. Without roads, do you think you can get from one place to another? Aww. Remember, in constructing roads, we have engineers create plans or a step-by-step -step process and patterns on how the road must be constructed. I think that is a common sense. Another one is your t-shirt. A t-shirt has four holes. And remember, we're going to have first, dito sa baba, and then we have in the two hands, and also for the head. Now, how does it relate it? It is called a number pattern. Now, a number pattern is a set of numbers that follows a certain pattern, wherein it should be related from a given set. The most common number pattern is counting number. Counting number from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth. The pattern is very simple. You just count by 1. If you use a certain rule, that is N, considered as the first term, second term, and the end term. For instance, the numbers 2, 5, 8, 11 form a sequence. Observe the sequence. Can you tell me what is the next term? Mm, that is correct. 14. Why is that so? 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. We only add 3 from its preceding term to get the next term. Parang 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 3, 11. 11 plus 3, 14. That's why we get 14. In this lesson, number pattern is commonly known as sequence or sequences. Now, what is a sequence? A sequence is an ordered set of numbers. It uses a certain rule. It may be addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. The technique here is very simple. You just need to consider the pattern from a certain term to a next term. Now, 
Observe why I am using the word term. Balik tayo dun sa example na 25811. 25811, term here is the members in a given set or sequence. So, lahat yun ay tinatawag natin na terms. Naka-enclosed. You can name those as terms or elements. There are also type of sequences in which the sequence is divided into two categories. The finite or finite sequence and infinite sequence. Parang familiar kayo doon, di ba? Kasi nangyari or nakuha nyo na yun during your past grade levels. Okay. Pag sinabing finite or finite sequence, balik tayo ulit doon sa example natin kanina. 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. Simple as that. We're in my end term. A sub 5 or your fifth term is equals to 14. It ends like that. 14 is your last term. While infinite sequence simply has no end term denoted by ellipses. Ibig sabihin, wala itong last term. Okay, in this lesson, we have to know also the explicit formula or the general rule or term. The rule that is being used in order to find the first, second, and the next terms. Explicit formula is just like this. For example, we have here example. A sub n is equal to 6n plus 5. Find the first four terms. Since ang hinahanap ay first four terms. First four terms. Your first, second, third, and fourth terms. Let's denote that as A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, and A sub 4. Okay. Ano yung gagawin natin? Only by substitution. Remember our explicit formula kanina? A sub n equals 6n plus 5. Okay, now, what are we going to do here is, kapag pinalitan or nag-substitute tayo dun sa A sub n, pati rin yung n sa A sub 1 equals 6, so that will become 1 also. Plus 5 equals 11. Let's use the MDAS rule or the PEMDAS rule. 6 times 1 muna before we add by 5. So, 6 times 1 is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. Now, to get the second term, let's use again the explicit formula. So, A sub 2 na tayo. Second term. Substitute again. A sub 2 is equal to 6 times 2 plus 5 equal 17. Now, for the third term, a sub 3 is equal to 6 times 3 plus 5 equals 23. Remember to use the endless rule. Now, observe, yung a sub 1 mo ay 11. a sub 2 ay 17. a sub 3 ay 23. Without having or using the explicit formula a while ago, what do you think is the A sub 4? Or what is the value of your A sub 4? That is correct. A sub 4 is equals to 29. Bakit? Kasi kanina, A sub 1 mo is 11. A sub 2 mo is 17. Ang A sub 3 mo ay 23. What have you observed? Again. So, we only add... Always by 6. So, 11 plus 6, 17. 17 plus 6, 23. So, para makuha si 4th term, 23 plus 6 equals 29. So, alam na natin, hanggang sa dulo, makukuha din natin si the next terms. Okay. Now, parang alam niyo na kung ano yung gagawin. I think, alam na, 
kung paano hanapin ang mga terms or sequences given the explicit formula or general rule. Let's try this. What is the ninth term of the sequence defined by a sub n equals 4n minus 1 all over 2n plus 3. So, anong hinahanap natin dito? Only the ninth term. So, ano yung gagawin? Substitute again, proceed to the formula. Ano yung? Substitute your n to 9. So, a sub 9 is equals to 4 times 9 minus 1 all over 2 times 9 plus 3. And as rule, gagawin is 4 times 9 muna is 36. Sa baba din ay 2 times 9 is 18. So, from that one, so 36 minus 1 is 35. Therefore, sa baba, 2 times 9 is 18. 18 plus 3 is 18 plus 3 is 21. That is now 35 over 21. Get the lowest term. Divide both sides by 7. So, 35 divided by 7 equals 5. 21 divided by 7 equals 3. The final answer or our ninth term is 5 over 3. I hope na may natutunan kayo. Always remember, ask yourself, kung anong operation ang ginamit from first term to the next terms para makuha natin yung buong sequence or terms. Now, math is fun if we just try to love it and keep on practicing. This is your math teacher, Miss Brinda A. Aliada, saying goodbye and see you again next time. God bless and stay safe.